Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing Spyro Year of the Dragon. We're going to best level, Fireworks Factory! And hey, look who it is! Someone's fighting some ninjas out there. And look at that. So yeah, Greta is back from Spyro 2. I guess we'll talk to her now. Oh, hello! It's good to see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. Alright, so we got Handel and Greta back, and it sounds like the Professor is involved too. Helping with our rocket that we're trying to gather people for. And we're taking on this ninja hideout place, I guess. The fireworks factory. And that's awesome, dragons and ninjas, come on. Now these ninjas though, if you look up there, they're spawning out of some sort of a box. So the ones that come from spawners will not drop gems, the spawners themselves drop the gems, but the ones that don't come from spawners will drop gems. So you gotta be sure to take out the right ones here. Here we've got a racket we can pick up, and we're gonna need these, cause hey look, a big guy that's metal, we can't flame him or charge him, but we can shoot him with a racket. Got an egg over here with noodles inside, sounds delicious. Oh, he's just a dragon, okay. That's fine, dragons are cool too. But now we're really craving some noodles, oh man. Okay. Some Chinese noodles, given the, the area we're in. Guess I'll use the rocket this time to blow up that. And wow, those gems are flying everywhere. Looks like you got a lot of work to do, Sparks. So into these buildings here. Uh, well, there wasn't much in this one, honestly. Just some treasure. Which we need, so it's not like it wasn't important. But it's still just treasure, nothing more interesting than that. So we skipped past this door earlier, which looks like it just has some more treasure. Gotta love the dragon artwork on the walls, though. It's so perfect for this game. And I saw that shadow on the ground, this guy dropped from the ceiling. They'll do that, they're ninjas, oh boy. Let's go get a racket. I think you can defeat these guys without a racket if you flame their backs. It looks like they've got dynamite on their backs. Worried this guy's gonna shoot me. Okay, I lived, I'm happy. Like, I was also struggling to destroy that fodder. There we go.
Get back here, fodder. I want my sparks back. It looks like you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind. Yeah, these kids are just awesome. Look at them thinking they can be sneaky. That's what they do though, they just hang on the ceiling and wait for you to come by. I don't know how they manage to stay up there like that. So here's one of those spawners back at the start. Flame doesn't seem to do much, but charging... Wow, <laughs> they're so vulnerable to charging that I almost charged right off the edge there and would have been back at the start. That would have been unfortunate. I think I'm dead. I gotta go into a room and take on four ninjas without getting hurt. Okay, the odds are much better now. And we have succeeded. We destroyed four ninjas without taking a scratch, although we took a scratch beforehand. Whoa! Two at once. I was gonna try to flame the back of one of them. But I guess I'll just take him out that way. Destroy another spawner. Destroy another spawner. This guy could give me trouble. Get out of here! So I've got a place we're gonna wanna go to there. Are there guys hanging from the sea? There are not. This is just a treasure room. Completely unguarded. Oh, if we wanted, we could glide over there to go to the portal over there, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to go back and get a rocket so I can destroy that other container. Darn it. There was definitely a gem that went off the edge there. We'll have to remember that that's there. And if we don't, we can use Sparks' ability to guide us. So let's check out this room here. It looks like the Sorceress has already used the plans to build her own rocket. We have to destroy it. Just follow me! This is gonna be pretty good. Hey, wait a minute. But the egg! You just lit a rocket. Rockets explode! Hey, look what was in the rocket. They must have been trying to put it into orbit. Well, let's hope Grady doesn't have any damage. If you see Handel, tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the Professor's rocket. All right. So, yeah, again, dragon eggs are very durable. I mean, there are durable eggs in the world. Like, one time in school when they served us ostrich eggs, they had to break it open with a hammer. Dear Spy Uro, or whatever your name is, give it up! I've got the monkey and I'm not giving it back. Love the sorceress. So 
Oh yeah, there's something here we can't do yet. Please give me the whirlwind to get out of here. Yeah, so we're gonna have to return to this place. When the egg fell, it opened up a cannon for us, so we can fall down and get this gem. And then get back up with no problems. Is there any fodder around? I don't see any. Okay, let's start off by going back here. And hey, look, it's Handle. And there's the egg. I think I could see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way round through all these Winox to get to it. Handle is slightly awesome, but nowhere near as awesome as Greta. He doesn't really do much in this game. Yeah, so you can just flame those guys' backs if you do it right. Ugh! Don't you try to sneak up on me, ninja. Okay, that guy hasn't noticed me yet, even though he's a ninja. Doing this with no health just feels kind of epic, just, well, it would've if I didn't do that, but it's like going through a ninja hideout where just one hit and you're dead, like what's more epic? I don't have to get rid of this other guy, but I'm going to. Goodbye. Ninjas taken out. The only one that got me was one with a gun, which since when do ninjas use guns anyways? That's cheating a bit. Ninjas don't use guns. Let's head this way first. Got some more fodder. There's another rocket right here, so I can easily just do this. I can also hit the guy on the ceiling if I want. But I'd much rather use it on that big guy. Alright, you think you can fire at me even though you're a ninja? Well, I'll fire at you then. Alright, I think we've cleared this area out. There's some more gems a little, yeah, by the egg here. But that should be it. 
Yeah. Sam. I think I could see an egg behind you. You're just saying the same thing. I got the egg, buddy. All right. And there should be no more gems in this area. Good. Now there's, an, of course, another cool thing behind this door. Because this level's awesome. Uh-oh. You'll have to use this combo power-up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time. Yeah, so we got a dual power-up thing here. Super Fly and Super Flame. And it's two bosses at once. The two Chinese fire dragons. You gotta keep shooting off their segments. And they'll get smaller and smaller. But if you leave them alone for too long, they'll start to regenerate their segments. It's usually best to focus on one at a time, but, you know, just go for whatever one that you can. Right now, I'm kind of fighting them both at once. I think I'll focus on the orange one now. And it looks like the, the power-up gate isn't temporary. It looks like we'll keep it for as long as we're here. Or we'll keep the power up, rather. Sounded like I hit a container, which... Uh... That's nice, I guess. It wouldn't be too hard to just hit it later, but... Alright, this orange one is down. Now just the purple. And uh, second verse, same as the first. So we've got another purple dragon here. We saw a purple dragon at the start of the game, too. And then once they make the Legend of Spyro oh, trilogy, they're like, oh, Spyro's special because he's like the one purple dragon. Of course, that game's not canon to these. There's like three lines of Spyro Cannon. Most of the games are on this line of Cannon, and then there's the Legend of Spyro Cannon. Here, have this! I fished it out of the molten lava. Wow. These eggs. Hey, Evan, you're lucky to be alive. I knew those monsters would be no match for you. Thank you, Handel. But yeah, and then the third and final line of Spyro Cannon, if it even counts, is the Skylanders line, which I don't really count the Skylanders games as Spyro games. I count them more as their own franchise with Spyro as a guest. Kind of like how I see the Rabbids games as their own series with Rayman as a guest. Oh. 
Alright, how about down here? We haven't been down here. Oh, whirlwind, in case I jump down there without superfly. Can we get another whirlwind here? Yes, we can, but there were absolutely no gems down there at all. Ah, uh, here's where, what we're missing. And of Okay, there's more. And of course, that's not gonna be everything because we couldn't do that one section, but that's everything in this area. It's really nice to be able to use Sparks' ability there, just to check and see if there's any gems left in a specific area. Oh yeah, that's right, we can't fly anymore. Good thing we got the cannon. And that's it for Fireworks Factory for now. We will be coming back here later, of course. Hunter, you fool. And that is why I was saying there was some stuff that we wouldn't be able to do in Lost Fleet. Because now Hunter's captured, so he wouldn't be there for that skateboarding mission. And we are actually going to be prevented from doing the special mission in the Speedway until Hunter is freed. But for now, that's the end of the episode. In the next video, we will be going to Charmed Ridge. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.